Bismillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulullah. Assalamu alaikum, dear brothers and sisters, and we move forward in our kabair. Our kabira for today is so important that doing it might have an effect for all Muslims. We take our religion from two basic primary sources the Holy Quran, which is, of course, the word of Allah Almighty, and the word of our beloved Prophet Muhammad that we call Hadith. There is no doubt about the accuracy of the Holy Quran because Allah Himself promised to protect it as He said. Indeed, it is we who sent down the Quran, indeed, we will be its guardian. But on the other hand, the hadith depends on the people who memorize it, as in their time. There were too few people who can write, and most of their narration was through memorizing the hadith. That is why it is so important to study the narrator and be sure that he is a trustful person. When the Prophet talks, Allah inspires to him what to say and how to act. When the Prophet speaks, his words are counted and are easily memorized. It is so meaningful and beneficial. Allah clearly says when he talks about the Prophet's speech, Allah calls it wisdom. وَيُزَكِّيكُمْ وَيُعَلِّمُكُمُ الْكِتَابَ وَالْحِكْمَةَ وَيُعَلِّمُكُمْ مَا لَمْ تَكُونُوا تَعْلَمُونَ Just as we have sent among you a messenger from yourselves, reciting to you our verses and purifying you and teaching you the book and wisdom and teaching you that which you did not know. And also in Surah Al-Amran, لَقَدْ مَنَّ اللَّهُ عَلَى الْمُؤْمِنِينَ إِذْ بَعَثَ فِيهِمْ رَسُولًا مِنْ أَنفُسِهِمْ يَتْلُو عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتِهِ وَيُزَكِّيهِمْ وَيُزَكِّيهِمْ وَيُعَلِّمُهُمُ الْكِتَابَ وَالْحِكْمَةَ وَإِنْ كَانُوا مِنْ قَبْلُ لَفِي ضَلَالٍ مُبِينٍ Certainly did Allah confer great favor upon the believers when He sent among them a messenger from themselves, reciting to them His verses and purifying them, and teaching them the book and wisdom, although they have been before in manifest error. Some scholars like Sahih Muslim and Sahih Bukhari dedicated most of their life to check the narrators and be sure of the accuracy of the hadith before writing it down as it is a big obligation for a Muslim ummah. Saying one different word from the speech of the Prophet may change a rule or order in Islam and the person who is intentionally changing the word of the Prophet will have the sin of all Muslims. Look at the hadith. إن كذبا علي ليس ككذب على أحد فمن كذب علي متعمدا فليتبوأ مقعده من النار. That the Prophet said, Indeed, a lie upon me is not like a lie upon anyone else, for whoever lies upon me intentionally, then he shall take his seat in the fire. And the Prophet also said, اتقوا الحديث علي إلا ما علمتم فمن كذب علي متعمدا فليتبوأ مقعده من النار ومن قال في القرآن برؤية that beware of narrating from me except what I taught you. For whoever lies about me on purpose, then let him take his seat in the fire. And whoever says something about the Quran according to his own opinion, then also let him take his seat in the fire. It is not only the responsibility of the person who narrates the hadith, but also for the one who spreads it. You must be extra careful when you receive a message in the social media that has a hadith which is strange to you or makes no sense. You must not send it back unless you search for it and be sure of its accuracy. The Prophet warns من روى علي حديثا وهو يرى أنه كذب فهو أحد الكاذبين That whoever narrates a hadith from me thinking it to be false, then he is one of the two liars. O oh Allah, teach us what benefits us, and help us distinguish between the right and the wrong, and keep us tight on the right path. Ameen. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.